When embarking, the time comes for all creatures when childhood ends and the doorway opens to life as an adult. Rex, I know it was hard for you today, watching all that happening, but surely it's not worth all this misery. Please, dear, not on such a beautiful night. You put these ideas into his head. Ended on the valley, and the pig felt that the troubles were all his fault. But he was certain that he knew how to put things right again. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. But I, 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 I call this. <laughs> sheepdog trial. So it's like a competition for sheepdogs. And their bosses. It's like an obstacle course. Well, how do they decide who wins? Well, it's time and mistakes. You get points for how quick you are and then take points off for every mistake. Every time a sheep goes the wrong way, that's a mistake and you lose points. <gasps> Looks like fun. <laughs> oh, for a sheepdog, there's no prouder moment. You know, Rex and I used to... Never mind. Was Rex a champion? He had the makings of the greatest champion there ever was. But it wasn't to be. What happened? A while back, when Rex was in his prime. Mom! Two weeks rest in front of the fire saw him back on his feet. But his hearing was never the same again. He'd never want anyone to know, but he's almost totally deaf. Oh, is that why he's so, you know, angry? That's not the half of it. 
All this was barely a month before the Grand National Challenge. He tried his best, but he couldn't hear the boss's calls and it slowed him up. The cold truth is that, but for the stupidity of sheep, Rex would have been the champion of champions. Good dog. Home pig. Fly knew that there was only one fate for any creature that took the life of a sheep on Hoggett Farm. Otherwise, I'll be disqualified. All right.